the pit lane in Valencia. The wait is over. The presentation of Mercedes GP's second Silver Arrow, the fourth work Silver Arrow from Mercedes-Benz in the history of Formula One. Targets. Our aim is very, very high, definitely, because the Silver Arrow belongs very far in front in Formula One. And um, I think the main thing this year is going to be development through the season. That's going to be crucial. Mercedes GP, keen to go on the attack. Now, looking forward, last season was instructive, but is done and dusted. Well, after a kind of disappointing last year, we have a big belief and hope into the car of this year. And we estimate to be back on the road for podiums and hopefully even uh, winning races. Compared to last year's MGP W01, the airbox on the new W02 is no longer split and the front section has also been modified. After a year of development, the team is now ready. You design in a, in a vacuum and you, you, you base it on the car you already have and you move forward, or you hope you move forward, but you don't know what the others are doing. So, uh, but uh, yeah, fairly happy. I think we've raised the standard of what we've done. Uh, We've met most of our objectives, I've come very close, so yeah, I'm happy. Under the hood, the proven Mercedes engine provides power, and the Kurs hybrid, after a year's forced absence, extra thrust. And then there's also this appealing design. The car is nice looking, uh, very different to last year's car. A lot of work in Brackley and Rixworth from the guys, so great job from all of them. They had, uh, have had quite a hectic winter, but uh, the car looks great. The new Silver Arrow is designed to look great and develop gradually to peak performance, with the drivers and new silver paintwork then able to try to outshine each other.